Hey guys, this is Ken. Welcome to another episode of my top iOS 5 city tweaks. This is episode 7. As always, if you haven't checked out my last few episodes, you can click the annotation on the screen. Now I'm going to go over these city tweaks briefly, so I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you 15 of my favorite city tweaks of this month. The first tweak is called one by one contacts. Now this tweak is really useful if you add lots of people in your contacts. So this tweak allows you to delete contacts without actually having to go into the person's contacts, click edit, scrolling down and delete contacts. This allows you to slide and click the delete button or you can click the edit button and delete them right away. So it's a really useful tweak. So that was one by one contacts. Next one is called Volume Customize. Now this is a very simple tweak. This allows you to change the color of your volume controls as you can see right there. You have many choices and you can have many configurations to change your colors. Very simple tweak that was Volume Customize. Now the next one is called Disable NC Switch. Now this one is a pretty useful one. This allows you to not go into the notification center when you're playing a full screen game. For example, Fruit Ninja. This allows you to not accidentally go into the notification center because you're swiping a lot. So as you can see, it doesn't go down and it disables notification center inside these kind of games. So that was Disable NC Switch. The next one is called Stay Open. Now this tweak allows you to not go out of the App Store after installing an application. So uh, let me demonstrate by installing Facebook Camera and let me enter my password and click OK. As you can see, it doesn't go to the home screen and exit the App Store. The App Store stays open and you can download more applications without going back to the App Store. The next tweak is called Not Quiet. So you can go to the settings application and you can set this up. You can go to the Not Quiet section and choose the application. This tweak allows you to choose an application, in my case, the YouTube app, and it blocks all the notifications when you're in that application. So if I'm watching videos on YouTube in my iPod, it blocks all the notifications and give me a quiet environment. So that was not a quiet. The next tweak is called always arrange. Now this tweak is a kind of like a copy of Android 4.0. This tweak allows you to move applications without having to go to wiggle mode as you can see right there. It's quite simple. If you want to delete an application, you can just drag the application onto the status bar and you can delete the application. So that was always arrange. The next tweak is called icon control pro. Now this is like sprint mice, but it's for your icons. You have a bunch of options uh, just for icon control. You get no badges, hide newsstand, and a lot more. In folders, you can have custom folder, folder appearance, and it just brings a lot of silly tweaks in one tweak. This is icon control pro. This tweak just includes many other icon tweaks like five icon dock, five icon, five row icon or five icon row springboard or something like that and you can even change your carrier lots of people ask me how to change the carrier name now here's the answer you can download this application click apply and it will change everything that you choose in this tweak so that was icon control pro the next one is called auto app killer now let me just set this to 50 megabytes of ram on my ipod now this tweak automatically kills application running in the background and gives you more RAM so uh, I ch chose 50 megabytes so it will always give me 50 megabytes or more of RAM and this tweak just will make your device faster give you more RAM so let me open some applications and exit the application and now let me go to the SP settings and as you can see mine is at 50 megabytes and even though I opened many applications it's still at 50 megabytes and now let's look at the SP settings again it became 63 megabytes this week kills applications and gives you more RAM so that was auto app killer 
The next tweak is called Unfold. This tweak gives you a really cool animation when you unlock your device in your lock screen. As you can see, this is the paper folding effect. So you fold to unlock and that was Unfold. The next tweak is called Dashboard X. This tweak gives you widgets on your home screen. The function of this tweak is quite similar to Android OS. You can have notification center widgets on your home screen as you can see right here. So let me add the weather widget by holding on to the home screen and click the weather widget and add the widget. Now I can view the forecast and interact with this widget. So that was Dashboard X. Since we're talking about Dashboard X, let me just show you a few of my favorite widgets for Dashboard X. The first one is Shade Clock. It's just a black, simple clock. It gives you the time, obviously. And the next widget is called Dash Tweet. Now this widget gives you the shortcut to Twitter and you can tweet stuff you just press the button and post the tweet you will have to link your twitter account to this widget so it's quite useful now the last widget that i'm going to show you is called battery info this gives you all the information about your battery for example the charge the capacity the temperature um, the battery state and the percentage just all the information about your battery the next week is called Swipe Selection. Now this is a really really useful tweak. So let's go to the Notes app and type random stuff. So let me show you how this works. Normally you will have to uh, hold the letter and go into this magnifying glass thing and you can delete any word or any letter. But now you can just swipe your keyboard and it will move the cursor to a letter and you can edit the letter or delete the letter so it's really useful you don't have to hold on to the letter and have the magnifying glass now this just saves you a lot of time that was swipe selection all right the last tweak that i'm going to show you is called switchy as you can see i have two rows of icons in my switcher bar Normally, you only get one row, but now I have two rows of icons. I don't have any icons because I just closed all the apps. When you scroll left, you get the music controls and the volume controls. When you scroll left one more time, you get more options. For example, the clear apps, all, clear all apps option, the shortcut to settings, and you can change your brightness. Really useful tweak that was switchy. So that was my 15 best Cydia tweaks of this month. If you haven't checked out my last few episodes, once again, you can click that annotation on the screen. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed this video or find this helpful, please like this video. It really helps me out. And please subscribe for more future episodes. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.